has so many Marths and Lucimas. It happened very recently, or at least over the last quarter. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's like, even before, it, like, I guess people started picking up Marth after the buffs, but there's a lot of people that still, uh, in Connecticut and uh, New England, I mean, Plug West, who stuck with Marth through and through. And I always found it odd how I would constantly run into Marth, just in this region. Meanwhile, we don't really have that many good Sheiks or Rosalinas, it's just a lot of Marth and Lucinas. But, D and Koga, starting it off. Uh, both of them are Marth, but they have very, very different playstyles. Play You'll, oh, you yeah. You'll notice Koga constantly goes off stage. He uses side B more than any other Marth Lucina main I have ever seen. It's yeah. just constant. There it is again. Constant side B pressure. But D is so patient. Waits for the optimal time to strike every single time. He almost never overcommits. It's really hard to punish him because of that. But Koga, regardless. He just is being so aggressive. Oh, almost killed himself. Ooh, Tipper. Uh, down tilt. Nice job, D. Oh, man. Be very smart going closer to the blast. Oh, what? I don't quite know what that exchange was. D let go of neutral D first. And, and so it he didn't was out forward. Yeah, so he extended his own hurt box. That's pretty unfortunate. Oh, man, Koga baiting out the air dodges. Quick 41%. This ain't looking too good for D. One chipper forward smash on the ledge will kill right now. He's gotta find some he's gotta find a way to get some stage presence back. He's always playing out at the side, which is where he usually likes to be, but Koga's just Oh, okay. Wow. Chip chip my lady. Oh man. Deep doing something really, really risky for once in his life, but doesn't get punished. There's a dash attack there. Koga has not gotten a single one of these stage fights that he continuously goes for. I think it's mostly because D knows the character in itself. Yeah. He, he's going really close to the blast zone and just kind of waiting. Yeah, because Marth kind of has magnet hands. It really, like, if he's down there with a jump, yeah, he'll, he, he will always back. make it back. Yeah. Ooh, D tried to go for a, uh, a short hop air dodge into either a side B or up air, I think. Or maybe even a neutral air. But Koga pretty convincingly takes it. I, I think D just kind of doesn't know how to get around Koga's wonky neutral game. Because he is very un unpredictable. He'll throw out stuff when you didn't think he was going to throw out stuff. Or he'll stop side B when you think he's going to continue it all the way through. Yep, he, um, he, he's definitely pretty good at, at mixing it up. It may seem like it's like or unorthodox at times, but it, I mean, works. it usually throws everyone for a loop. Yeah. So. <laughs> Can you believe that? Uh, I think D was actually one to tell him this, but... Koga didn't even know about the uh, the air dodge into side B or up air stuff out of a short hop to Martin Lucina. He didn't know about that at all until like last month. So he never ever used it. Uh, he, he, he may be like me in the fact that, you know, uh, I've got a Mario, but I haven't looked up, you know, any tutorials or anything like that. So a lot of people tell play. me mine is just like unorthodox. And I know Mario's like a lot simpler to pick up, but. Um, it, it could be that. Uh, any tech he may have, and anything unorthodox he may have, yeah. may just be a result of, like, tuning out, you know, the influence of, like, YouTube tutorials. Did you, uh, uh nobody updated the scores. Koga's up one game. Shh, don't tell him. Crazy. Ooh, man. Forward smash in the ledge. I've seen so many people say that, oh man, Lucina's low tier. And I, like, I, I just don't get it. If you think Marth is high tier, or at least good, then you have to think that Lucina is good. Yeah, I don't people know. People really, really underestimate With the, the most recent patch, I actually don't think her forward smash has any business being as strong as it is across the entire land. Yeah. Um, it's so good. Yeah. Like people always complain about Marth's Tipper killing really early, but you cannot sleep on Lucina. Just because she doesn't have a Tipper, that could potentially make her more dangerous if you're not careful. Like, look at that. That was almost it. What the hell? 
Oh! Ah, uh, try to go for Very a counter. Very good ledge guard attempt to use mixing it up. Not, you know, the dolphin sledge we came to expect, at least. Oh. Man. Just barely missing all these attacks as you play. If that was the Again, that would have killed. That's what I'm about to say. Like, if you flip the script here, that definitely would have killed the other way, right? Yeah, so like, 100%. The matchup thing, it suits Koga a little better that he gets to just kind of, you know, pressure the shield without need to be quite as precise. Yeah. So... Ooh, good job on T. Recovers high this time. Oh no! Just barely missed spacing all these kill moves. Oh, half a second more. That's it. Right? No, wow. You went deep for it. Try to close the We game. take those. Alright, D's still in this. 129%. Oh. He tried to know, go for it. Maybe if he had given him the down tilt there, that would have been it. He was, yeah, he was trying to go for a really quick spike. Or, uh, Gimp. Anything to even it up. I think he'd already used his jump there. Is that too. it? No, no, no rage. That's it. That'll Koga takes 2-0 over D. The future is not written.